What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing of the no scope glasses that I just got in. My gaming hours are all over the place and whenever I game during the daylight hours everything seems to be fine but whenever I game at night it seems to really have a strain on my eyes or if I play for a lot of hours during the day it will really bother my eyes quite a bit. So I started looking for solutions and whenever I looked at a couple of gaming glass companies I noticed that there was a huge price difference between them. You have a company like Gunner Glasses that is considered this big prestigious company and they were wanting over $200 for some of their gaming glasses. And then I looked at no scope glasses and I seen that their models were under $20. I've worn glasses like these in the past whenever I would go out to the shooting range I would wear them for not only protection to make sure nothing flew into my eyes but also it helped whenever you were squinting at a particular target and putting the strain on your eyes. So I knew something like this is what I needed and I went ahead and reached out to no scope glasses and said hey can you send me a pair of your glasses and possibly a sponsorship. They said we would love to do it they went ahead and sent me the model of glasses that I requested and here is the unboxing of them. This isn't going to be the traditional unboxing as in you're seeing me pull everything out. I'm basically going to show you what I got out of the box. I'll show you the box itself. But I always felt like doing the opening up of the box and all that stuff has always been like a clumsy process. So I'm basically just going to show you what I got out of it. Alright, so the product arrived in a box like this which was a pretty big box whenever you're talking about delivering glasses. So I was really surprised at the size of the box. Now whenever you get these glasses they send you lots of swag. So I'm going to show you exactly what all I got in my particular box. First off they sent me some promotional stuff such as a magnet with all of their information on it as well as a sticker that I can put on anything and it has the no scope branding on it. They also sent me this which is very important it's a microfiber cloth in order to clean your glasses so this was really nice to have that way I don't have to go buy some myself. The glasses arrived in this kind of container it's kind of like a medium quality plastic to where it's kind of stiff but not exactly stiff and it protected the glasses pretty good I would say. I went ahead and removed the glasses from the container so that I can uh, cut off all the little tags and stuff that it has on it. And then we have the carrying case which this is pretty nice because it seems to be a very tough material and also it has a tension top to it to where you can actually uh, pull it open a little bit and it snaps back closed. So you can put your glasses in here and have them secured up to where you're not going to have to worry about them falling out. So the particular model that I got was the Andromeda glasses and these are almost like a hipster look. I like this particular style so these are the ones I requested but they have lots of different models that you can choose from. You can look in the description below this video and I'll have a link to the different styles of glasses that you can get. Alright to start off with I have to say that these are very lightweight and they are made of plastic so uh, that's very nice because it rests on your face really well to where it doesn't feel like it's a strain on your face. I've had glasses in the past that whenever I would first put them on I would notice right off the bat that they poked into my nose. Uh, also the strain above the ears it would seem like it just really grinded into the skin above your ears. These are not doing that right now. As you can see the uh, bridge of the nose right there seems to be a pretty good quality. It's very smooth. Uh, it doesn't seem to be anything that will cause strain over time on your nose. There is a little bit of tension on these glasses so you can actually widen them out and put them on your face and then it will apply a little bit of pressure on the sides to make sure that they don't fall off very easily. The tint on the glasses isn't very bad. It's, uh, it's just a slight yellow to where it actually changes the atmosphere just a little bit into the yellow spectrum and it doesn't seem to be really causing any kind of dramatic difference in my eyesight as in I'm not putting them on and thinking oh my gosh the whole world just turned yellow no it's not like that what the yellow tint does is it actually causes the computer screens not to put that much pressure under your eyes because it actually neutralizes the blues that come out on your computer screen a little bit and that's actually what causes so much strain on your eyes is the blue that's in particular pictures and stuff so what's my overall thoughts on these glasses? I think that these are pretty much the same type of glasses that you would get in any other market as in uh, doing the job of reducing the blue from the computer screens and stuff like that. 
but for much less of the price. The price tag on these particular glasses is under $20, so that is a drastic difference from something like a Gunner glasses that would be over $200. These glasses are actually a value buy, so whenever you purchase them, you will get pretty much the same type of value as in the end result of it neutralizing the blue from the computer screens as you would from a high dollar pair of glasses. So that's the decision really. You can spend a lot of money on another pair of glasses from a different company and get the same result as these are going to have as in neutralizing the blue from your computer screen or you can buy you a pair of no scope glasses for under $20 and have the strain reduced from your eyes at a much better value buy. I hope you guys enjoyed this non-traditional unboxing of no scope glasses. If you'd like to see the different models or else buy some yourself, I will have a link in the description below. As usual, my name is Grim and I'll see you guys next time.